What's good? Half Blind back with another video, and today we're going to be going over Division Dynasty and Team Builders, both sets. Really, not a lot in the Team Builder set, but we're mainly going to be focusing on Division Dynasty. So, if you guys like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe. My goal is a thousand subs by College Football 25. It really helps out if you guys do that. But otherwise, let's just jump into it. So, as you see here, the LTD, we finally have Marvin Harrison Jr. Let's look at it. I skipped over Marvin Harrison Jr. stats because, well, I guess I could go back and look at it. It's pretty much 99s on everything you needed except for the spec catch, which if you're putting them on any of your theme teams, you'll probably get it up there. So you should be fine with any of the stats at this point. We have baked on route technician, evasive, tank, all baked in zero AP. We've got all charge up abilities for the X factors. And just so you guys know, that's going to be all of them as charge up for all of the division dynasty champions. So we got double me, rack him up, max security, grab and smash, ankle breaker, and uh, yak him up. Did I already say that? Yeah, I already said that. My bad. And angry runs. Now on top of the baked in abilities, he's already got a ton of zero AP and one AP abilities. So you see you got angry run, yak him up and truzz for one AP and yak him up is zero AP. And then you have a bunch of zero AP buckets here. And here is where things change up a little bit. You're probably gonna to wanna to put Jukebox on, but just in case you wanna put something else, here's what he has for the other ones. So a ton of abilities for no AP. Really good in the ability game. I bet he's gonna be a really good receiver and he's probably gonna be expensive. And especially because when you look down here at the Team Kims, he gets all 32, so that helps him as well. If you're running a theme team. And with all of these Division Dynasty cards, they actually get the pass protect, they get the power run, or they get the balanced for each team. And so obviously within the division, he gets all 32. Within the division, you get these for that division. So for example, AFC North is gonna have the Steelers in it, even though it's a Ravens player. All right, I'm gonna screw up this name. Od Odafe Owe is what I'm gonna say his name is. Let me know in the comments if I screwed that one up too bad. But uh, he's got film study baked in. And then here's his custom bucket. He's got Colossus Run Stuffer and Avalanche. And then looking here, he's got zero AP Tackle Supreme, which is always good. There's your Lurker. There's your Pick Artist. A couple more zero AP buckets. And then you have a few extras in this last zero AP bucket. That's where you're going to get the uh, double or nothing, where you're going to get the edge threat, and for his X factors. Again, charge up for all of these. Got dual threat, avalanche, momentum shift, and selfless. I'm not going to show this on every card, but this is what I was talking about here about the AFC North teams. You've got your regular Team Kim, and then you've got your you got your power run, you've got your pass pro, and you've got your balanced. Take a look at Ryan Neal. Ryan Neal's got baked in pick artist. X factors, you've got let's see, you've got universal coverage, you've got avalanche, momentum shift, and all these are zero AP. And that baked in pick artist is zero AP. There's your tackle supreme. There's another avalanche, and there's universal coverage. So, I would say probably you're gonna to want to put these on here instead of actually going through on the X factor and doing that. Uh, but it's kind of a teach their own. I don't like to waste an X factor on that stuff if I can help it, especially since it's not always on. All right, and then you have film study if you want that. Got another tackle supreme right here. So I definitely wouldn't waste that last bucket on a tackle supreme. Again, just like the others, you've got a couple more zero AP buckets to mix and match. Ton of abilities on these guys. 
secure tackler out there, which you won't really need if you've got Tackle Supreme. You've got a pick artist, lurker, mid zone KO in case you're deciding to play him in the box, and deep end zone KO for safety if you want to play him back there. Either way, you've got options. All right, next we have Terrell Bernard with built-in Lurk Artist. Got an X-Factor of Fearmonger, Dual Threat, Shutdown, Avalanche, Momentum Shift. It's Custom Bucket. It looks like we've got Reinforcement, Avalanche, and One Step Ahead. Another Tackle Supreme. Pretty much everybody's getting that at this point in the year. There's another film study. There's another lurker. There's your pick artist. Pretty much everything you need in these buckets. There's your mid zone KO, which you really want on a middle linebacker. If you want to go other ways, you could go double or nothing potentially. Lurk Artist, but why? Why would you put Lurk Artist on? But it is always there on most of these cards. I don't know why you would put Lurk Artist on there twice, but you can. I shouldn't, but you can. Alright, now we have Adrian Hutchinson. As you can see here, he's got built-in Tackle Supreme. He's got X-Factors here, which I don't see you using because some of these that you would potentially use are already baked-in abilities, but that's what they are. And as you can see here, he's got Lurk Artist at zero, he's got Avalanche, he's got Dual Threat in his zero buckets. And then he, why would you use Tackle Supreme, but he has Film Study, Double or Nothing, and he's got Edge Threat Elite. Here's your Lurker. And here you got Bogo. double or nothing again and I just noticed here on him he has a left outside linebacker position as well Cowboy CD Lamb we have built-in route technician got double me on the x-factors max security ankle breaker angry runs angry runs is one AP looking here we've got rack him up yak him up and double me and pretty common here, I think a lot of these were the exact same as what we had for Marvin Harrison. Maybe even all of them are the same, he's just going to have less buckets. And then there's your jukebox. Probably going to be what you run there is jukebox. Down to our last 399s, you've got Traverius Ward with built-in pick artist. You can see here you have Shutdown, Zone Hawk, Bottleneck, and Universal Coverage. A lot of people have been, sounds like doing a lot of Bottleneck, I'd, but obviously that's right there at 1 AP if you don't want to run it as a X Factor. So there you go. Uh, if you're running the bottle Bottleneck scheme, that's, uh, that's where you can do that at with 1 AP and just have it on all the time. Especially if you're running a team in that division, theme team-wise, at the end of this year, a lot of people aren't necessarily running theme teams anymore and they're just running all the good stuff, but you can do that if you want to, and Universal Coverage is here. Really, you can get both, which might be kind of interesting, doing Universal Coverage and Bottleneck, but then you see here, here is his Zero AP buckets, again the Film Study, again the Tackle Supreme, and then here you have Secure Tackler, Lurker, There's a flat zone KO. Last two, we got Mr. Patty Mahomes. And looking here, he's got Gambit. He's got Hilo Deadeye, Blitz Radar, Brick Wall, Running Gun, Bazooka, Omaha, which a lot of people have been running from the sounds of it and glitching that out. And we've got Truz, Anger Runs, Escape Artist, and first one's free, Freight Train. Fearless is his Baked On. And then his custom bucket, we've got Run and Gun, Set Feet Lee, Master Technician, Tactician, I always say that wrong. Threat Detector, Fearless, Hot Route Master, 
Dashing Deadeye, Pass Feet Elite, Set Feet Elite, QB Playmaker, Pocket Deadeye, High No Look Deadeye, Backyard QB, and Master Tactician. Went one too far. There we go. So you're going to have, I don't know why you would, but you can put Jukebox on him. You can put this one you might want to do depending on his release. I don't know what his throw release is, but Gunslinger, if he does not have uh, the best release in the game, if I remember right, it's something for, I, I don't know. I'm not as good with the animations. I just know if it's got a slow release, I'm going to be putting Gunslinger on it. I don't think he had a good release if I remember correctly. So yeah, I'd probably be putting Gunslinger on it. Roaming Deadeye, Human Joystick, Jukebox. A lot of these, I'm not going to go through these just because of the fact that I think you're probably going to be putting, if you're using him, you're probably putting Gunslinger on him, but you never know. If you want them, they are here. And lastly, so I'll stop talking about abilities. We have Evan Ingram, as you can see here. He's got Double Me, he's got Max Security, he's got Ankle Breaker, he's got Vanguard, and he's got Angry Runs as his X Factors. Looking at the custom bucket here, we've got Double Me, Yak Him Up, and Energizer. And then pretty similar to the receiver stack here, except you have Post Up, Secure Protector, Tight End Apprentice, Edge Protector, and Backyard Tight End. And then looking over here, you have Red Zone Threat, you have Bulldozer, and you have third down threat. I know this video is already running longer than I wanted it to, so we're gonna hurry through this last part, and there's not much to go through here. So real quick, if you look at the store, we've got a Division Dynasty choice pack. If you look here, we've got a 96, uh, sorry, a 6% chance at 97 overall in the first part of the pack. And if you look here, you have a 50-50 chance between 96 and 99 overall in the Division pack up to you I'm not gonna pocket watch any of you guys spend if you want to late if you don't at this time of the year but if you did pull something let me know what you got and looking out here at the challenges so the nice thing about the challenges this time is we have actually non B and D which thank you so oh actually you know what there is a B and D right there so yeah my bad there is one B and D and one non B and D the reason why that kind of sucks that we have one B and D is if you go back and you look at the sets, looking at the sets here, you have to have any 96, 97, which a ton of 96 has dropped today, so that shouldn't be too bad. But then you have to have three AFC West standouts. You're only going to be able to get one from the fantasy pack. That's just using AFC West as an example. So for each of these players, you're going to need at least two, and you're really only going to get one of them for free. Remember, the B&Ds cannot go into the sets, so you are going to need to get two of these cards. Hopefully they drop in price, but I kind of doubt it. We'll have to see. Depends on if they're flying out of packs or not, but I would be surprised if they are. We'll see if they are. Maybe they'll drop low and they won't be too expensive, but right now, getting any of these guys through the sets probably going to be pretty expensive. You're probably going to be better off buying it straight through the auction house, but we'll do some checking on the market and see how that goes. We've also got the Ultimate Legends coming out this weekend. We got the little puzzle or whatever you want to call it for that. So what I'm seeing on the right is it looks like Franco Harris to me. Looks like two abilities. Let me know what you guys see. Hopefully, for me, that's not Franco Harris being the LTD because I want to use my 99 pack on a Steeler and use it on Franco Harris would be cool. But I don't know. The two abilities is looking like it's probably the LTD. Let me know what you guys think and let me know what you're seeing on the other two because I'm really not sure on those. Okay, so I just recorded the entire video and then forgot all about Team Builder and honestly, that's really kind of a forgettable promo. Um, if you want to look and see what players are on your team, you can hear while I'm scrolling. To be completely honest with you, I doubt you're doing much with the 96s other than potentially adding them to the Division Dynasty. They're here if you want to. There are some sets for them. Uh, to get a 96, but really it's all going to be 96s, no 99s, just a few. Maybe boost if you're trying to fill out the last of your theme team, but otherwise I doubt you'll be using it for much other than maybe doing the sets for the Division Dynasty. 
that's going to be all for me today. I appreciate any of you guys watching. Again, please like, comment, and subscribe if you can. I've been really trying to work on getting more content out to you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Peace.